Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on how to install MySQL on Windows 10 by Simply Learn. In this session, we will learn how to install MySQL Workbench and then we will run some commands. So hey everyone, I am Abhisar Oja from Simply Learn and welcome to this video on how to install MySQL on Windows 10. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's start. Firstly, we will visit the official Oracle website that is mysql.com and now we will move to the downloads page. Now scroll down and click on mysql gpl downloads. Now under community downloads click on mysql installer for windows. The current versions are available to download. I will choose this installer and click the download button. Now here just click on no thanks, just start my download. Once the installer has downloaded, open it. You may be prompted for permission, click yes. This opens the installer. You will be asked to choose the setup type. We will go with custom. Click next. Now you have to select the products you want to install. We will install only the MySQL Server, MySQL Shell and the MySQL Workbench. Expand MySQL Servers by double clicking on it. And choose the version you want to install and click on this arrow. Now you have to do the same thing for applications. Expand applications and choose the MySQL Workbench version you want to install. And click on the arrow and we'll do the same thing for mysql shell we'll choose the latest version click on the arrow so these are the products that have to be installed in a system now we'll click next now we'll click execute to download and install the server this may take a while depending on your internet speed as the download is completed, click next. Now you see the product configuration. Click next. Now we'll configure our SQL Server instance. Here we'll go with the default settings and click next. And under authentication, select use strong password encryption for authentication, which is recommended and click on next. Now here set the password for your root user, by the way, root is the default user, this user will have access to everything. I will set my password. Now I will click on next. And here also we'll keep the default settings and click on next. Now to apply configuration we will execute the process. Once all the configuration steps are complete, click finish. Now you will see the installation is complete. It will launch MySQL Workbench and MySQL Shell after clicking on finish. Now the shell and workbench has started. Now we will connect by clicking on the root user. It will ask for a password. Enter the password and it will connect successfully. The workbench has started. Now we'll just connect the server. So first we'll open command prompt. Now we'll reach the path where MySQL files are present. So we'll go into this PC. Local disk C. Program files. 
MySQL, MySQL Server 8.0 bin. And now we'll copy this path. Now we'll open the command prompt and write a command cd space and paste the link and press enter. Now we'll write another command that will be mysql minus u space root minus p and press enter. Now it will ask for your password. Just enter the password and press enter. Now the server has started. And now we'll see some commands in MySQL Workbench. First, we will open MySQL Workbench. Now we'll click on the local instance MySQL AT and enter the password to connect to the local host. The MySQL workbench has started. Now we will see some commands. The first command we will see is show databases. Show databases semicolon. And now we will select the whole command and click on this execute button. And here we will see the result in the result grid. These are the databases that are stored already in the database. Now, there are four databases that is Information Schema, MySQL, Performance Schema and SYS. Now we will select one of the database, we will use uh, MySQL. Now we have selected the MySQL database and now in this database we will see which tables are stored in this MySQL database. To see that we will run a command show tables. We will select the command and click on the execute button. These are the tables that are stored in this MySQL database that is columns underscore private component db and much more. So now we will see what components are stored in these tables. So we will select one table that would be component and we will see what are the columns and what values are stored in it. To see that we will run a command select star from components. And now we have run this command and what we will see is that the table has three columns that is component id, component group id, component urn but there are no values. There are null values in the table. Now, now we will write a command to create a table. Now we will create a table in the MySQL database. For creating the table, the syntax is create table, table name and then we'll start with the round brackets and then we'll write the column name and then what column it is whether it's int or where care so now we will write the command create table and we will name the table as persons and we'll start the round bracket and the first column would be person id okay and what type it would be it would be int type comma and the next column would be first name and its type would be where care and the next column it would be the last name same type where care And the last column we would uh, be write as city. Now we'll run this command. 
and see that the table has been created. Create table persons, person ID, first name where care, name where care, city where care. So yeah, now we'll insert the values. First we'll see what components are there in this table. Select star from persons. Now we'll execute this command. Now what would we see is that the table is created and all the columns are there but there are no values. So we'll insert the values and then see the table. So to do that we will run the commands that would be insert into table name that is persons. Then values then we'll start the round bracket and write the values according to the column names. So I will write one as the person ID in comma space and then I will write first name that would I write would be Kotam comma last name that would be Gambir comma uh, city I would write Delhi and we have to put these varchar in two commas Gautam not an inverted commas only single commas you can put it now we'll run this command yeah it's been inserted into the table persons so first we will see whether it's inserted or not select star from persons semicolon yeah we can see the result our first row has been inserted now we'll insert some more rows and then we'll some other commands so we'll copy this paste here and just change the values person id 2 now we will insert virat kohli and he is also from delhi so i would let it remain the same we will execute this command it's also been inserted into the table and we will write more commands Rohit Sharma Mumbai and one more row that would be for Hati Panda. We will execute this command now we have inserted four rows into the table we will write a command to see whether four rows are inserted or not now we'll see another command to get out the result with a condition let's do that select star from persons and what condition we should put would be uh, we would obtain the two rows with the persons living in the city Delhi so we will write the command select star from persons where city equal 
equal to Delhi. Semicolon and we would run this command and what would get is the two rows with the persons living in the city Delhi that is Gotham and Virat. Now we will see a command to obtain only a column from the table. That would be select column name that we will select first name. First name from table name that is persons. Semicolon and now we will run this command. So what we have got is that is the column first name from the table persons. With that we have come to the end of this session. I hope it was interesting and informative. If you liked it, please let us know in the comment section. Also do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from Simply Now. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.